Hi, so in this video we're going to continue talking about working out the volume of 3D shapes. Okay, this particular question is graded at round about A, A star, and it deals with working out the volume of what they call a hemisphere, which is half a sphere. Okay, so the good news is, is that the um, formula that you need to use for this particular question is actually printed on the front cover, uh, no, the inside front cover of your GCSE examination booklet. Uh, the even further good news is that even though it is, it looks initially quite complex, if you have a fairly rigid way of applying the formula, it will give you the answer fairly easily. Okay, so I'm going to just copy this particular question and I'm going to write it up on the board. There is a copy of it also on mathsrap.co.uk um, and you can have a look at the, the video and also a downloadable worksheet for you to have a go at for yourself. Or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel um, and if you do have a look at the videos on volume and density and um, this question will be in the description. Uh, section underneath. I uh, hope that's okay. So the particular question we're going to look at deals with a hemisphere which is half of a sphere. Now a sphere basically is a ball. Um, a hemisphere is half a ball. Um, so it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to draw so just please bear with me and hopefully I'll get the drawing okay for you. Um, but what we've got is something like that and then something like that and then there you go it's a bowl shape it might look a little bit like a bowl from the stone ages but nevertheless it's a bowl shape okay and the information that we've been given is that the radius along here is 9.8 centimeters and the radius along here is 10.4 centimetres, centimetres. I hope that's okay, I hope you can read it, I hope you can see the picture okay. Uh, what they're going to ask us to do is to work out the volume of the bowl. The bowl's made of clay um, and it's just to work out the volume. So that's the information we're given. We're given that it's hemisphere. So if I just write that up on the board, it's hemisphere. Hemisphere. Okay, and a hemisphere is actually half of a sphere. Um, okay, so it's a sphere half. Okay, now in the front of the, uh, of the booklet, it will give you the formula for working out the volume of a sphere. And the information that you need is that it's four thirds pi r cubed. Okay. So that's the information you've been given to work out the volume. Um, so what we're going to do is effectively we're going to look at this problem as being initially two spheres. So one of the spheres will have a, um, it's a sphere, I can't draw a sphere, but if you can imagine a football, um, maybe if I put a little sort of, there you go. I'm not sure if that looks like a sphere either, but um, if you have a look at that, that particular sphere is the first one, which is the smallest one, which is 9.8 centimetres radius, okay? And then the bigger sphere is this one here, okay? And again, it's something like that, I suppose. Um, and that's got a radius of 10.4 centimetres. Okay, so the way that we're going to calculate this is if we work out the volumes of these spheres and basically take one away from the other. Um, however, it's half a sphere, so when we work out these volumes, we need to just divide by two and that will give us half the volume. Um, and therefore it'll be the volume of the large hemisphere and the volume of the small hemisphere and then we'll take the two away. Um, you'll see what I mean when I actually do the, the calculation. Okay, I think it's very important with all of these calculations to have a fairly rigid approach to it, to make sure that you work methodically. Um, 
it is an A, a star question, but actually the calculation itself is not so difficult to do. Um, it should be fairly straightforward, providing you put your numbers in correctly and you use uh, a fairly structured approach to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I'm going to look initially at this side of my, my answer paper. I'm going to look at a radius of... Um, 10.4 centimetres. So this side of the paper I'm going to work out the volume when it's the radius of 10.4 centimetres. Um, this side I'm going to use a uh, radius of 9.8 centimetres. Okay, so I'm going to work um, down the page and I'm going to actually work the two together because then I, I can only just I only need to change a couple of figures on my calculator to be able to work out the calculations each time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, the formula I'm going to use, which is four thirds pi r cubed and four thirds pi r cubed. Okay. And then I could just basically feed in the information. So the radius of 10.4 centimetres, the volume will be 4 thirds pi, and then it's 10.4 centimetres. So just a couple of things with this. Occasionally they'll give you it as a diameter, and you need to just uh, split that in two or divide that by two. Um, occasionally they might give you it as um, millimetres and metres and a bit of a mix. So if you're comparing, you're going to be taking away, you need to make sure you've got the same units. Um, now in this particular case, I know it's 10.4 centimetres and 9.8 centimetres, so it should be fairly straightforward. So radius cubed is 10.4 and cubed. Now if you like, I can write 10.4 times 10.4 times 10.4 just to remind myself that it's radius cubed. So it's each number, or it's the number multiplied by itself three times. Um, similarly with this one, I've got 4 thirds pi and that's uh, 9.8 cubed again. Okay, so when I calculate these, I'll now get... A, um, a volume for a whole sphere with a radius of 10.4 centimetres. And that will be a calculation of, uh, I'm going to have to check my notes, but 4712.43. And this calculation will work out as 3942.93. What we've calculated there is the volume of a sphere with a radius of 10.4 centimetres and the volume of a sphere with a sphere, a sphere with a radius of 9.8 centimetres. OK, so I'm going to just now divide them by two um, and that will give me the volume then of the hemisphere. So if I divide that by two, that's going to give me two, three, uh, 56.22 and the other one is 1971.48 and you can check that on your calculator however just to, um, while, while I think about it this, this is an important thing when you put into a calculator you've got to be very careful with these kind of calculations because this calculation is not 4 over 3 um, times pi over 3. It, well, let me just write it down. So this is not um, 4 pi 9.8 cubed all divided by 3. Okay? So you've got to be very careful in a calculator that you don't give the calculator the impression that that's what you're trying to calculate. It's not. Okay, so I'm just going to put a big cross against that because when you put uh, this kind of uh, calculation into the calculator, the important thing is to appreciate this is four thirds of pi. Okay, or four thirds times pi. Um, and then times that by 9.8 cubed. So it's actually quite good and useful to use brackets on a calculator. So what I would do, um, there's a couple of different ways. You can either work out 4 divided by 3 
and then multiply by pi multiplied by 9.8 cubed or you can just feed it into the calculator as 4 over 3 which is telling the calculator to make sure they do that calculation first and then multiply the end result of that calculation by pi by and then by times 9.8 cubed. Um, so it's really important that you put that into brackets. Um, what you will find if you don't and you use this then you will you'll get a different result. Uh, you will still get marks on a paper but obviously if you're aiming for an A or an A star grade then really you need to be very careful about the way you enter data into the calculator. Okay so what we're left with is this. Um, that will allow us then to calculate the difference between the two which will be the volume of the bowl itself. So if I take one away from the other I get left with 384.74 centimetres cubed and this is the volume of the uh, clay bowl um, which is the, the exam question. Now if you follow this through and you put this through on a, on a, on a paper, a, 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 an exam, GCSE exam paper, this will show the examiner very, very clearly that you've understood the question, you've also got a very rigid way of answering uh, the question, and even if you made a small mistake with the calculation, you're unlikely to lose too many marks. And actually, I would say that's a pretty reasonable result as well for uh, this bowl because the, the radius, it, the, uh, the volumes here mean the difference is about 385 centimetres cubed. So it's a fairly reasonable result. Um, I hope that's been okay for you. Please do have a look at matrap.co.uk. Uh, there are a couple of questions on a downloadable worksheet, so you can have a go for yourself. Um, or if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, please uh, put a comment and uh, I will get back to you. Please do post, pin, tweet this particular video and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.